I got this in the mail a couple days ago. It's a uh, Orico branded uh, NVMe enclosure. They have several different options. They have a 10 gigabit one, then they have a 20 gigabit one, which is this one here. Then they have a 40 gigabit, which is basically Thunderbolt 4. This one here claims to be 20 gigabit, which is essentially USB 3.2 Gen 2 by 2. So anyways, it's fast. Normally these things use uh, 10 gigabit, which you'll get around, uh, around 1000 megabytes a second for your NVMEs that you put inside. Uh, this one is double that. So in theory, you know, I should be getting 1500 to 2000 uh, megabytes a second it's here. I do have a laptop here, a Legion laptop that has several different types of ports. It has a USB 4, which is 40 gigabit. So that'll be nice and fast. And then it does have two by two Gen 2. I also have on my desktop as well. So I'm gonna be testing this out to see if it actually works as claimed. Um, the Amazon reviews were kind of all over the place. Some people were saying it wasn't getting the recommended speed, but I think that may be due to the fact that they're not using the right USB port. Perfect, okay. Kind of like the look at the gold one. So we have um, the USB here, which you have uh, two options, USB-A, oh weird, okay, USB-A and USB-C. I'm assuming that to get the proper speed, you're gonna to have to use the USB-C. That makes sense to me. So I'm gonna be using USB-C. And this is the enclosure itself. Uh, don't know what that is. Maybe for something inside. There's no instructions or anything, so. Oh, there we go. So those little brackety type things, a thermal pad, and an instruction manual. Uh, they don't send one. The uh, Sabrent little enclosure that I had for PCI, he did have one, but so we take Take that out from there. Just a piece of metal. Put the thermal pad onto the NVMe. Okay. Put this metal thing on. It's just a generic heat sink. Doesn't actually fit. Yeah. There we go, just be careful with that. Didn't actually fit very well, so we put that on there. Uh, okay. There we go, all wired up. Here we go. So let's put it in the computer and we'll test it out. Okay, so it's detected. All right, so we'll just run a crystal disk mark bench here. Um, it's not gonna give us you know, all of the information, but it'll give us you know, roughly how fast this is running. So already it's not looking good. Um, you know, that's basically the speed of a 10 gigabit drive. So uh, yeah, that's not looking good so far. So we can see back here, this is a true 20 gigabit port. And there we go, we're plugged into the actual 20 gigabit port. So if this doesn't work, then the company has some explaining to do. Okay, so here we are. The I is the P3 four terabyte, you can see right there. And we'll just do this, we'll just do this live. And uh, you will see, we will see if this is, you know, something to do with backwards compatibility or not. There we go. So it looks like the drive is not backwards compatible with a USB 4. Um, it doesn't look like it's actually getting the proper speeds there, but on a USB, a USB 3.2 Gen 2 by 2 or whatever the hell it's called, the 20 gigabit. Uh, port, it looks like it runs totally fine. So it is getting the proper speeds on the proper device. Um, so that's good. It looks like, you know, we're getting the, what is advertised. Um, there's going to be an issue, obviously, with, you know, if you have like a Thunderbolt 4 port or something like that, I don't believe they're properly backwards compatible. You will, it'll work, but I think you get um, just USB 3.2 speeds. I don't think you get the 20 gigabit. Here we are on my Mac Mini 2022 with a USB, a Thunderbolt 4. And as we can see here, you know, it's just getting... Uh, USB-C 3.2 speeds. So these drives are not compatible with Thunderbolt 4 um, in terms of the raw speeds, and they're also not compatible with USB 4 in terms of the raw speeds. Um, so there's a very niche location where this drive would be used if you have specifically 
a USB uh, 20 gigabit port. If you have a USB 20 gigabit port, then you'll get the full two gigabit. Uh, however, if you have you know USB C a 10 gigabit, you're going to get 10 gigabit. And if you have USB C 4 or a Thunderbolt 4, both at 40 gigabit, it's just going to go back to the default speed. So what's my takeaway on this drive? I mean, it works. It does work at 20 gigabit. I have a 20 gigabit port specifically. So if you have a Thunderbolt 4 or USB 4, it actually just reverts back to the 10 gigabit. Of course, if you have a 10 gigabit, it runs at 10 gigabit. There's a very small niche of where people have 20 gigabit uh, ports. I don't think a lot of people actually use them. We kind of had 10 gigabit and then we jumped up to Thunderbolt 4 um, and USB 4. So, I mean, if you have a 20 gigabit port, this might be a good option for you. However, if you're running with, you know, a Thunderbolt 4 or USB 4, it just seems to go back in speed anyway. So it's kind of a weird product. I think you're better off actually buying their cheaper one that's 10 gigabit and just using it as 10 gigabit or actually buying their more expensive one that's that's USB 4, and then you'll get the 40 gigabit speeds, and then you'll get a lot even faster than this. So, I mean, it works, but it's kind of a niche item.